We're back. We're back. Another one. Hello. We are, uh, we're Dan and Mike from Biceps and Banter. We're here to help you in any way, shape or form we can, to be honest, because you definitely shouldn't niche down at all, as we've, as we've established. No. <laughs> Go watch last week's video if you didn't, don't get that one. That, that's if they're in, coming out in this order. They're going to have to be now, so. Wow, well, yeah. Yeah, there you go. There you go. They will be. Don't worry. Anyway, I hope, uh, I hope everybody's watching uh, and go and tell everybody about it. Tagline. Every um, single person you know. Every, share it everybody. across the board. Like it. All of that jazz. Go on. Yeah. Um, so today, 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 today. I say today, but they've all been today. They've all been um, today. We're talking about things what? that you yeah. do not need. Correct. As an online coach starting out Chlamydia. in your business. You definitely don't need that. Don't need that at all, do you? Don't start with that one. No, um, you don't need that. Um, yeah. There's, there's a lot um, of fluff that I think people are sold into. I think we should come at this from an angle of, to go from what, 0 to 30 clients? Should well, we, we, should like we do what we've out? done? Because we said yeah. that we were going to do this. Yeah. Okay. So, so we'll change the name halfway through, but we'll say um, why we don't have, well, we have paid basically zero attention to our website. Mm-hmm. Why we've paid, ba- well, why we don't have an inquiry form. Or I think there's one kicking out somewhere, but like we... We'll talk about that and what it looks like. Okay. In a yeah. Yeah. So why we don't do that. Uh, and what else? Should we go for, for three things that online coach... What's another third thing that an online coach doesn't need? Um, uh, inquiry, they always do? Inquiry form. Inquiry form, website, and... Oh, fucking members area for one. But that's another... That's for people usually higher up. Uh, what about um, what about a group, like a group coaching? Oh, yeah. No, I tell you, do what you know, you, but done badly. Yeah, or a Facebook group. Facebook group. Facebook group. Yeah, okay, yeah. There you go. Okay, three thi- Yeah. Three things that Because they're, they're told to always have a Facebook group, most people. Okay, three things that we don't have yeah. or... Th- don't use. W- yeah, don't use, but yet you think you will need. There you go. There you there's, go. there's three things. That. That so website, number one. Number um, one. Yeah, so we've got a website. Obviously, everyone's got a website, haven't they? Everyone's got one. Yeah. Um, you know, you need to have one, apparently. But um, too many coaches, when they start out, put so much emphasis on their website, what it looks like, how good it looks, all the things that happen on there. And then they soon realize after getting one that no one goes to it, yeah. ever. In any way, shape, or form. It's one of the big things when you start out and you're like, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a website. Um, Instagram's your website. Yeah. Like, if you're a one to one coach, like, and then again, this is there's specifics to this. There's other things that maybe if you're selling other things, whatever, right? But if you're a one to one coach who's looking to build as an online coach and build personal relationships with people, you do not need a website. It's my shop window, though. No, it's not. Instagram's your shop window. Instagram is my shop so window. So yeah. you're, you're directing someone from Instagram to your website. website yeah, they yeah. already can see everything on Instagram yeah. that you need to see. Yeah, yeah. But what am I going to do with my transformation post? They're going to put my website. Well, they should be on Instagram. So yeah. you don't need to worry about that, do you? Yeah. Um, what about a landing page for my, for, my, uh, for my email? Well, that should be on Instagram bio. So yeah. you don't need a website. It doesn't matter. <laughs> like, <laughs> but yeah, it's one of the things that people will pay thousands of pounds for, that people will procrastinate on other work to, and put yeah. that as a priority. Like, that's a big thing. I'll start with my website sorted. What? No one's going to go to your fucking website. Yeah. There's a, there's actually a, a mentor at the minute who's doing like in-house website design with people and branding and stuff. And it's like, mm. you're selling that and people are buying it, right? People are buying it, but it's it's utterly useless. It is pointless. Like th- Again, for us, the branding stuff, by the way, before people come at us for that sort of stuff, is... Um, we were like, we were, sp- we were a YouTube channel. We were going to be, again, me and you doing that sort of stuff, which is what we needed it more for. It wasn't about our coaching necessarily, the branding side of stuff. The branding stuff can be important. But again, I think if you're between naught and 30 clients, it's really not important. Like again, people put way too much stock and value into their branding. You might want a nice logo or a nice name or whatever. But ultimately that goes alongside website for me. It's that whole thing of like, you just don't need it. It's useless bump. It's just, it's just fucking yep. bump. It's just like, oh, something that looks smart, but mm-hmm. actually doesn't fucking do anything and just waste time and money doing yep. it. The amount of money that you'd spend on, spend on a website, you'd be better off spending on learning how to use yeah. camera equipment, learning how to create stuff that looks better, learning how to write better. Paying for coaching to keep you accountable. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, paying you know, for something don't to help that. you. Yeah. Um, you're better off spending the money on that because it, it's... The, the biggest problem that people have with, with getting clients through the door is it, it's about building a relationship with someone. And websites don't build relationships with people. No. They just don't. Um, they are very um, corporate, very professional. A lot of big businesses have them because what they're selling is very different to what you're selling. Yeah. Very, very different. That they need, a, they need a landing page for that stuff because no one knows who runs Mercedes' Instagram account. Yeah. Um, it's usually like e-commerce or whatever mm-hmm. that, that, or selling a product or whatever. Yeah. And just think about how you use this, right? If you have a mentor or you've had a coach yourself, where did you look for them? Yeah. 
That that should just be enough said. Did it? you Google them? You did didn't. you find them on Google? Did you, you didn't do it, did you? Did you stumble across Google and go, "Oh, this is the one for me"? You hmm. literally didn't do it. No. So why are you expecting? It's like madness that people don't see it. And and so just to think back over the last few years, what's happened, right? There's been a, been a boom in influencer marketing. There's been an absolute boom in it, right? And ask yourself why there's been a boom in it. Why has there been a boom in influencer marketing? Because people spend more time on social media than anywhere else. Anywhere else. So so big companies, not even small ones like you. Big companies are paying people on social media to use their products so that more people see their products and use their products in real life. Why not just put that money into your website then? Why have, why have Coca-Cola not just put more money into their website or you Gym know the Shark. fashion brands, Gymshark? Why don't just put all that money in making a better website? Because they don't need one. I mean, they've, they've got one. Because, got it's, one. because it's e-commerce. But, but at the same time, but they're, not, but they're not spending more money yeah. on their website. They're spending Correct. money on getting eyes on Absolutely. people's products and getting it out there. That's, like, And it's well, that whole thing of, it, it baffles me well, again that people look at it that way. Web, a website for those guys is the platform in which they sell stuff. Whereas that's not their advertising. You don't need a platform to sell stuff. You're, you're going to book in two inquiry calls a week. You can do that yourself. Like, you, you need advertising. A website isn't advertising. A website's just the platform. Your advertising is your Instagram. That's what, that's what you need. But you think, but I don't know what people th- are expecting from a website that, oh, things are going to blow up. So, so the, thing, the thing with the website, what, okay, so what's the main function of the website that you're going to use it for as an online coach, right? You're going, to want, you're going to use it to show off your work, number one, post about yourself and what you do, number two, and then have a contact form so that you can start a conversation with someone. That's what you're going to use it for. And you can do all those three things better on Instagram than you can on a website, on an app that people use daily, right? Not many people go online and like, oh, it's my favorite website, I must go on it. Not many people do that, right? And with this, people are on social media all the time, they're always on Instagram, and you can start a conversation with them there and then in, on like direct message. But yet, people want to send people to a website to find out about them, to get their number, <laughs> so that they can WhatsApp them about booking a call in. It's fucking mad. You know when you go full circle and, and go, and there's mentors telling people to do it. Yeah, I just, I just um, find it baffling, and it comes back a little bit to this whole thing about like people trying to leverage their time a little bit, right? And it's like, well, we can automate all that sort of stuff. It's like, the, if if you're in a position where you have that little time that you need to automate, and leverage that sort of stuff. Happy days. Yeah, you're 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 doing very very well. Yeah. Right. And most people watching this, most people looking for a website aren't doing very, very well. And that's why they're looking for it and they think they need it. The reality is you just need to have more conversations with people. Yeah. And the easiest way to do that is on Instagram, not on your own website. So number two, number two, number two, inquiry forms. This is oh. one of the biggest things that we see, especially when they've come from other mentors. I think pretty much near enough, every single mentor, I don't know, I don't want to bracket everybody, but we'll tell people to have an apply with me, inquire with me, join the team now in your bio. We spoke about this on the last rant, I guess, that we had. It's literally pointless. I'm not going to cover old ground in terms of that. If you, if you want to hear that, that's on the last video. But um, it's literally pointless you having that and then directing them to a form where they've got to fill out a fucking phone book list of, of things that they do. Name, age, ooh, who are you? You know, where have you come from? Where do you live? Yeah, you know, yeah, too many you, questions. Yeah, are you right-handed, left-handed? Why do you want a coach? Have you worked with a coach before? What can you afford? Yeah. F- tell you how to put someone off. That. That's how you put someone off. And, and again, we come back to it. We've never used it. But ask yourself, how many times have you ever filled one of those out? For, for something else, for another service, for another product, for another, whatever it is, right? I get put off by them. Of course you do. I get put off by him because, and as an example, we were, me and me and Tom recently looking at going away on a golf holiday and we had to fill one out and we had to send it off and they were going to ring us back and I'm like, why can I not just book this through a website? Yeah. Like, this should be basic. And I didn't fill it in because I couldn't be asked to go through the process of filling all that out and then getting someone ring me. We just ended up doing it ourselves, right? And I think that the amount of times I know people, I, I, people do this all the time with fucking clothes shopping. They go to look at buy stuff, put it and leave it in their cart and then go, I can't be bothered. Yeah. Fill it out. Do you know why they create those guest checkouts? People can't be asked filling out registration yeah. forms. It's easier. A few buttons, press it, right? The easy. The Amazon do the one click. Why do people do that? Because it's easy. And if Amazon are doing that, yeah. right? Do you think that you might need to <laughs> might yeah. need to think about how you can make it as easy as possible? Amazon, right? If you go on Amazon, you know you want something, right? They, they've they've taken that process out of putting your fucking shipping details in to make it as easy as possible so you will click and buy that button because they've gone in there and they've looked at it and they've looked at the process and gone, so we're falling down here. There's a lot of people filling this stuff out and they're not going through it because they can't be bothered to go through the whole long process. You need to make it as frictionless when, when you realise, oh, I'm not booking many calls for my inquiry form. A lot of people are clicking it. A lot of people are clicking it there, Mike. Yeah, yeah so, they will so be. I've got, I've got two people from two different mentors 
who've come in with, with me in the last month, both of them had inquiry forms. One of them was like, I can't understand why, because he showed me, he'd got like 20 clicks last week or something yeah. like that. He's like, I can't understand why I've got no calls, why no one's followed it through. And he said, should I make my inquiry uh, form more detailed? <laughs> no, get rid of it. No. And guess what? It's, it's Harry. Yeah, and it's those Harry. 20 people have now signed up. He's got 20 people yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. they messaged him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like, it's madness. No, get rid of it. It doesn't need to be more <laughs> more detailed. No, get rid of it. Like, all your, you, you, need to, you need to make it as frictionless as possible for your client and, to get on the phone right. or into coaching. Like Alex Hormozzi talks about it a lot. Short on the t- uh, space of time that it takes to do something. Yeah. Like, like you've just said, Amazon, you can, one button, it's at your door tomorrow, mm-hmm. right? Quick, that's how Amazon's made the money. But yet you're taking through someone through a consultation form like before they've even been on a call with you, that's what the call is for. The call is for, yeah. to ask so, those questions. So the argument is, um, it's pre-qualification. Okay, great. So why is your content not doing that? Your content, again, if you've niched down, if your Instagram bio is on point, you've niched down, they're, they're already absorbing your content, that should have already happened because they know what you're about, they know where you're at, they know that it's a premium service, they know roughly what it's going to cost, all those sorts of things, right? Second thing is the pre-qualification comes on the call. You speak to them on the phone and you go, right, actually, I think we'd be a good fit. Let's, let's do this. Let's go for it. And it, it just baffles me that, that people are recommending this as a, as a thing because we've, a, because we've never done it to grow our business. We never did it. But even at this point now, right, and I'm not, we're not Billy Big Bollocks. We're not big or anything like that. I still have time to book in those calls. Mm. Like, how busy are these people that they're like, oh, do you know what? You must, you must fill in my form. Hang on, I'm, I'm speaking busy. to you now. I'm messaging on Instagram now. And you're telling me to go and fill in your form. no. <laughs> Just message them back. Yeah, three o'clock, okay, tomorrow. I know you're free at three o'clock tomorrow. I know you are. You've got fuck, nothing you can't move. Move it. Book the call in. Hey, I don't get it. In it, in it, in it mad. It's mad. It, it's fucking, it, it's, it's mad. It's, I move like my fucking dinner. I move yeah. other things around. I can imagine these online coaches. I've got 10 clients again. Um, sorry, please book in through my form um, yeah. so that we can book an appropriate time. Book in my Calendly link so you can pick my favourite time that I'm free. <laughs> you're free now, mate. You are free now. So get on the phone with do you them. Know, do you know why you're getting people on the phone? You're getting people on the phone, right, to be able to de- cover the details of what coaching is because they should be on the call because of what Dan's just said, that you, they've, they like your content, they resonate with you, that's why they're on the call. You're dotting the I's, you're crossing the T's, and then that's it, okay? But what you're doing is you're actively putting people, you're pre-qualifying even to talk to you, even for a call, what? Yeah. Why are you you're actively putting people off? So you're going to have people who it, who either A, can't be bothered to fill it out and go and find somebody else where it's a little bit more quicker, a little bit more simple. B, forget to fill it out. C, go away from it half, for, for the half the day and then it, it allows them to think a little bit more or whatever and it just kind of, the, the feeling dies off. You need to make it as frictionless as possible. So asking them fucking every question about their life is not. I don't fucking fill shit like that out. Dan doesn't. You don't. So why are you limiting the amount of people that you're going to get onto a call? Unless you are absolutely inundated to the back yeah. fucking nine of yeah. call, 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 call. And then, yeah, okay, right. Wait list, fucking pre-qualify, sort them out. Yeah. But if you're getting two or three a week... <laughs> And it doesn't what? make and it, and it doesn't make you look better. It doesn't make no. you look more exclusive. It doesn't make you look busier. It's just annoying. And the other one is the Calendly link. Of course, is the when you're messaging someone, don't send them to a link, a Calendly link to book in a call. Do just, this. Just give them two times. Do this. So in your DMs, can I book in a call with you, or can I inquire about the details? How much of is coaching? coaching? How much, How much is, is coaching? coaching? Right. Yeah. Here's your response. Hey mate, thank you for reaching out. Um, yeah, so basically the next step is to just jump on a quick call where we can cover your goals, uh, all the details of coaching and see if we're a good fit to work together. So I've currently got Monday at three or I've also got Tuesday, just have to work at around five. Which one of those suits you best? <laughs> done, Easy. right? What you've done is you've explained that this is the process. So there's going to be no objection to getting on a call. You've just explained that you've got spaces to book a call that's either there or there. Not yes or no, or click this link and fucking fuck off through a thing. Never see you again. It's do you want this one or that one? And psychologically, they will go, uh, yeah, Tuesday at five um, is probably the best fit. Cool, I'll book you in. Um, I'll drop you a Zoom link in the in the in the chat, or I'll go. I'll just take your number, I'll jot it down, and, and I'll give you a quick call. Then, looking forward to speaking to you. Done yeah, so and dusted. What's that? What's that? Three minutes of your time, but yeah, but but no, send them to a Calendly link because that those times work better. They're too busy at coffee shop. Like mate. you're not too busy. Like you're they're not too busy at coffee until shops. you're in a position where you've got a hundred clients, and even then, you're not too busy, right? Because you're not too busy, are you? No. Nope. Right. Forget about it. Just forget about it. Stop this whole thing of I'm better than that. I'm bigger than that. Like it, I'm above that. You're not. You're not above it. 
You're not. And if you think you are, then again, you've got a bigger business than someone who needs to worry about, you know, your your DMs on a daily basis. You should have other people maybe that do that for you, right? If you're that high up or you've got other coaches that work for you. I just find it baffling that people are trying to to, to streamline and it's like, mate, you need these clients, so don't fuck them around. Number three, what was it? I forgot. It, it was the one that we didn't plan. We didn't plan it and we can't remember. What, what was it, no. number three? I can't remember. You'll know, but you... The inquiry you form. Was it the inquiry? No, no we talked about... Oh, so the other... No, that's what I was going to say about us on our website. We do have an inquiry form on our website. We only had that put in... Facebook when, group. When we only, there you go. We only had that when we started taking on coaches because some people will come to the company and they'll want to inquire for coaching and they all have done a group coaching program, for example, and they may not know which coach they want to work with. So in there it is literally your name, your phone number and your preferred coach. And I think whether you've had a PT before. That's it. Because then we know what what person to put them to and so who to send them to. That was the reason we had ours. And even then we barely get anyone any people through it. Because again, it's it's all done in on Instagram. So I got a lot of clients, basically. And I've had, I think, eight people booking this week for calls. I booked them all manually. Shock horror. Stop the press. And I will be taking all eight calls. Um, again, shock horror. Stop the press. I've got time. And I work a lot of hours. A lot of hours. And that's not like, oh, you're a hero, Mike. I am. But, you know. You are, yeah. But I am. It's, fine. Um, it's, it's literally to show... Stop trying to automate things that don't need to be automated. Yeah. Like you're tra- you're running before you can walk. You're looking at bigger businesses or you're being sucked in by mentors or automations teams or whatever saying you need to do this. You don't need to do that. You've got fucking 12 clients. You don't need to do that. In fact, you're wasting your time. You are wasting your time and actively reducing the amount of clients you're getting in because mm. of those things. Like do those things when you are fucking packed to the rafters. Yeah. Honestly. So number three, Facebook group. Ugh, Why we don't have a client Facebook Again, group. Okay, so next question. How many Facebook groups are you in that you use? Done. There we go. There's your answer. Uh, it's, it's pointless. Like, So we've done it. Again, hands up. We've done it. We tried it. Used us. We canned it for that very reason. We were like, I think we're quite good at this. I'm going to blow our own trumpet a little bit here. About recognizing oh. when something isn't good, isn't working, we just can it. We just go, there's no point. Let's just stop that. Too many coaches waste their time. We had a question the other day in our group. Um, oh, my, fa- my, my client WhatsApp group or Facebook group's a bit dead. What should I do? We'll can it. Yeah. It's, it's fucking pointless you know it's one of those things where we've had it before with a, the client WhatsApp uh, Facebook group might have had 60, 70 people 100 people in there maybe at the time um, oh it's a bit quiet a bit dead well, what should we do how should we get engagement in there well the reason it's dead is because they're messaging you because you're, you're a good coach you provide a good service they don't need a, a group why, would, group why would they write in the group they don't need to write in the group our group coaching Facebook group very absolutely different. engaged rammed to the rafters full of posts because it's group coaching this is part of the part of the accountability is the fact they're in a group one-to-one clients and I've seen it well with free groups this always also relates to free groups there's no reason for anyone to be in there to post to do anything you have to manually post that content in there if your niche is very very specific and you're very very good at your niche your Instagram account is your Facebook group the people in there are your people that are there for your free stuff you don't need a group to send them to We've done it. We've tried it. We failed it. It was useless. It didn't work. That's why we're telling you this because we, we know. If you niche down well enough, your Instagram account is your Facebook group. Look at it that way. Look at it that way and go, right, so in a Facebook group, you have to provide content. You have to turn up and provide valuable content. Do that anyway. Do that on Instagram anyway. You have to provide regular free trainings. Do that anyway. You have to get people on your email list. Do that anyway. It's pointless. They don't work, in my opinion and your opinion, I know, they're a waste of time. It's another thing you're giving energy to that it could be better spent elsewhere. Yeah. If you're not posting every day, but you're thinking about what to post in my Facebook group to get popping, you're looking in the wrong area. Post on Instagram. Yeah, it, post on Instagram. It, honestly, like, it's... Like, honest, this is why you're all, like, again, there might be people here who go, I've got a Facebook group and it's great. Cool, good for you. Yeah, like, if that works, and again, look, yeah. if you have and it works and you found the, the solution, brilliant. Yeah. But if you're also looking at it going, I, I'm not bringing in the clients I want, again, then something needs to change with that, right? The, the funnel or how you're getting people from that free group to your pay stuff needs to change. But 95% of people don't have a, a an engaged free Facebook group. No. They have a dead one. Yeah, absolutely. Doesn't work. I would say. We we got how many people? How many did we get in the, the more basics, more banner? Thousand, I think. Thousand? We had a lot of people. Died. If we can't engage with that, if we can't get any engagement with a thousand people in there, you've got what? Thirty clients? Like it's gonna it's gonna require you to put a lot of work in there. And think about the reason why one of your clients would post in there. Why would they post in there when they can just message you? Like Dan said. Our, we have one for our group coaching because they can't message us mm-hmm. because it's group coaching. It's not one-to-one. So they only have the group for accountability. So any questions do go in there 
but you're a coach who gives them your WhatsApp number. So why would they post in there? And it's great that you're thinking about building a community and building a tiny thing that people don't want to leave and things like that. But you could do that in other ways. You could, you could argue that the polarity of your content draws more people and more engagement and almost like they feel like they're part of something by being your almost like not supporter but like they, it almost feels like they're on your team so to speak and then there's other things that you could that you could do that are better than that you could do client meetup days you could do adventure training you could do photo shoots you could do a summer barbecue you could do a christmas do mm-hmm. where people meet up and get on with each other and stuff like that because that's better than a facebook group where you're pulling your hair out not knowing what to post and because no one's posted for fucking three weeks that's what happened yeah Wasn't it? right so like this Subscribe, you know, all of that. Share it, um, everyone, and, and anyone. our Facebook, no, our, our Facebook, Facebook group. group. Yeah, Facebook join group our free Facebook group that we've just launched. <laughs> I imagine. No, our <laughs> members, our members group, um, our members group with lives every week, etc. That's when a, a group does work. By the way, how we're doing it. Get into the group and see how we do it. Yeah, um, <laughs> links down in the description. But in all seriousness, it wouldn't work for Gen Pop. It only works for coaches. Doesn't again know what you're doing. 